Hi. Hi. This is um, a beautiful, beautiful human being. Um, her name is <laughs> Agnes <laughs> Ziedinha. And we are in a beautiful town of Kurzeme, that, which is Latvian region, a region in Latvia. I hope I'm not blocking the microphone. You can hear me. Mm -hmm. So, um, yes, and um, I'll tell you a little history about us. Uh, my Latvian audience, if there is some, and there is some, you might know Agnes already because she is, uh, she's, I'd say, uh, somewhat popular. <laughs> she's a, a little bit like a celebrity here in her niche because um, Agnes is, can I say you are clairvoyant? Yes. Agnes is clairvoyant and she has been clairvoyant since she was a child and uh, she has, well, she will tell you about uh, herself a little bit, but uh, I have turned to her for, I don't know if you could call it advice, but uh, generally we have cooperated. She has helped me. Uh, after I, I uh, had like an insight about my own um, uh, somewhat, um, how to say, <laughs> uh, brave to say, uh, yeah, superpowers. But, uh, but really I needed um, somebody to help me to, to start speaking about it publicly. Uh, right, but uh, I, will, I will now give so to say, floor to Agnes, and I'll ask her about her first experience when she understood when uh, that she is not exactly like everybody else, but that she sees more than uh, people, regular people see. <laughs> Hi, Agnes. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yes. Uh, in Latvia, yes, I'm uh, known as a clairvoyant. I'm working with energies and giving people advice. But um, how I started this way, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, I was a child. At that point, I didn't know who I was. I uh, started uh, like to notice when, that something is wrong with me when I was like eight years old. That was the time I was uh, starting to go. To go I was going to school, yes. And uh, you know, people are like a little bit scared of uh, others who are. Um, speaking strange things to them <laughs> so i was like lucky because i had a grandmother and she uh, was the one who noticed that uh, there is something going on with me and she was she was saying that uh, don't go to the people and don't speak to them like uh, like this is Openly. normal <laughs> yeah <laughs> because they they want to uh, understand you and uh, Yes, that, that was just the first time. And that was the advice that you gave to me. You, you told me, don't tell them everything that you see. I remember that. Yes, because <laughs> people, um, they, they don't understand these things. They think that you're crazy and you need to go to the hospital or some doctors <laughs> to check out what is wrong with you. But in fact, uh, there are many people who have these yeah. abilities. Uh, they just don't know that and they um, they don't work with themselves and this is called just intuition I call this like intuition yeah. because I don't know how uh, I know that uh, there are people who had some interesting experiences in their lives but uh, for me experience is every day <laughs> <laughs> like I'm, I'm now um, good at controlling this it's not like I'm always on uh, on the wave mm -hmm. but sometimes it's very difficult that's why I'm living in countryside where is n there is no people around like um, there is only nature and animals and for people who have these um, abilities to feel uh, this world a little bit different like see some kind of spirits and feel others thoughts or um, just uh, when you are in the connection with universe or the mm -hmm. flow, you need to like uh, live somewhere else, <laughs> like somewhere uh, where is less information and destruction. Yes, mm -hmm. and destructions. Uh, I cannot live in capital cities because this is very very hard for me. Mm -hmm. 
Beautiful, <laughs> beautiful. So uh, we are probably um, coming back, but uh, unfortunately <laughs> not like this together because I'm going to travel back to the United States. But uh, we have um, had, I think, beautiful conversation yes. and connection together, and mm -hmm. we are uh, we. We are planning that we would show together, but uh, if you want to reach out to each of either of us separately, this is Agnes Zedinia, and I will tag her so you can find her. She speaks English, as you see, <laughs> and Russian, <laughs> and Russian, I and I do too. <laughs> <laughs> so you can reach out to me as well. Uh, I I do have a group. Um, uh, tell your story, grow your business. Uh, we will show up in that group as well. And with that, we'll say bye, bye. for now. We love you. Yeah.